always tell me, stay in your lane Do your thing, but try to be different I look at them and laugh like I ain't gon' change I've been the same, plus I'm way too consistent When that radio's on, we the only thing playing In the car, I got the windows down Zombie on the left side, thinking that the brain We different, ain't nobody putting us down what is up guys it is x-rays and it is friday and i know today is supposed to be viewers pick but i want to remind you guys that i am still in mexico at this point that you guys are seeing this video it's friday uh so i got about another week left uh, next friday should be when i come back and make my huge comeback in, in the world of youtube but anyways what you're seeing in the background today is actually some drop zone and you guys are gonna i'm gonna teach you guys a really good strategy because Right now, Modern Warfare 3 is a piece of crap, and everybody is just kind of, uh, I don't know, uh, crapping on each other from how much crap is in this game, and just, there's so much, so much crap being flung, it's like you think monkeys are doing it. Um, I, I think monkeys were the ones who actually made Modern Warfare 3, if you really think about it. Um, and the biggest one, Robert Bowling, left before he could take his feces to the face. Uh, but anyway, so, what you guys are seeing is, uh, the drop zone, and I'm gonna show you guys a strategy on how to... How to get better at the game and how to how to do better on drop zone because I know drop zone can get frustrating with all all the grenades being lobbed over at the drop zone and it gets uh, and you know at first uh, drop zone was a really like weird game because everybody was running in there and then everybody uh, was trying to go on feeds with sniper rifles and everything but I found a pretty good combination here now I'm gonna teach you guys this class setup that I have here you want to use overkill and domination uh, if you ever want to go for like high scores or if you want to really help out the team. Now, as, as you're seeing right here, I have a USAS and I have an assault rifle. You want one for short, you know, short range with the shotgun. And then if, if someone's a little further, obviously you can't get them with the, with the shotgun. So you pull out the assault rifle and you go to town on them with that one. So you always got to use cover whenever you're in the drop zone. You obviously want to protect your teammates. Maybe if you're not directly in there, you know, getting the points. But when you're protecting it so your teammates can get it, you know, that's the important thing to win. And this is actually a shorter gameplay. It was like five minutes. And I don't know how these guys didn't see me. I think they're retarded or, you know, mentally retarded because I, I was just like right there in their face. Uh, but anyways, guys, so yeah, using the ACR with uh, silencer and extended mags for a distance. Uh, the class setup you want to use apart from that is you want to use sleight of hand, obviously, since it's a shotgun and you want to reload quick. Because uh, you can obviously just pick up weapons from the ground if you ever run out of ammo. And then uh, the second thing, overkill, obviously, since I'm using two guns. I use a portable radar to see if the enemy's there. Since a lot of people in drop zone don't use Assassin Pro because they always try to you know rush in there and uh and do their thing that nobody really cares about assassin pro and uh in in drop zone and uh, i don't know why they don't there's like a, a lot of uav support and stuff whenever you get to drop zone quick enough but you know a lot of people don't do it so obviously um run something else apart from assassin pro in the middle because no one's going to be trying to hunt your ass down or anything uh, so that's why overkill is such a great idea to use and then the the third perk I used for this one was steady aim. Although I probably should have used marksman, but I don't really well not marksman, uh, uh but uh, stalker pro. But anyways, as you're seeing here, I ran out of ammo already, and I was I was gonna pick up a gun there. I think it was on a pretty good streak. I I, I might have been really close to a drop zone Moab, but then I got killed while trying to pick up a gun here. My teammate was no use. <laughs> it was of no use to me. Uh, but anyway, so that's pretty pretty entertaining stuff. Um, and you're gonna see me switching on and off with the guns, uh, you know, using the assault rifle and then switching to the shotgun when I notice that it's a engagement that I can't win. So you know, picking your your fights and uh, really doing it to your advantage. You know, this one right here, I didn't want to st run straight out there because I knew that it was getting flanked a lot. And I picked off the people. This idiot didn't see me for some reason, uh, but it's pretty smart of him. He's running around the back. That's another strategy. If you notice someone has a drop zone, try to sneak around the back to get them, uh, since they're more than likely not gonna. Uh, be able to defend themselves when they're too distracted in one direction but as you see whenever i run through these little hallways or through the little engagement spots i always switch over to the shotgun because you never know when you're going to meet somebody who has you know a shotgun as well or who has a submachine gun and you want to dispose of them pretty quick so here i am with the shotgun i'm going to run in there and i know this is a short engagement one no one's in there at the time and then I, I'm going to switch over probably right here, right after uh, I fail epically with this one right here. I'm not the greatest shotgun user. But, so yeah guys, so that's uh, some strategies that you can use in drop zone. I know you guys aren't used to me giving tips and stuff on how to play or something. But, you know, I was looking through some of Woody's videos. Uh, I was looking at like his older ones and I, I don't know how the hell he got 13k views. And I'm, I'm assuming that when he got bigger, he uh, people started just naturally going to his older videos to see what he was like. Uh, but anyways, uh, so I noticed that he did a lot of 
a lot of just like tips and stuff even though he's not the greatest guy so i decided you know i'm gonna do a couple of tips here and there especially when black ops 2 comes out i really want to push you know how to do better at the game maybe not how to go beast mode because i don't think anybody can really go go beast mode unless you're that guy that dedicates himself completely to call of duty but how to do just a little bit better and as you're seeing there's the gameplay I, uh, I I think I'm pros pretty decent in terms of helping out the team. I'm Max and Mock guys. Remember to leave a like if you enjoyed it and a favorite if you really enjoyed it. And yeah, I'm out, guys. Peace.